present for me? For both of us. It's such a fine spring day, I prepared a picnic. Open it. I think the mine's going to work. I like Winer, and the men like working for him. Jack Quinlan could run the mine from Pennsylvania after all you've done. <laughs> Fine, what would I do then? <laughs> Whatever you do best. Throw my weight around? <laughs> you trying to get rid of me? No, never. How are the children? They're fine. They're at school. Safest place for them. Will you ever forgive yourself, George? Or me? You? For what? Well, if you haven't been so concerned with my life, Constance. Oh, no, no, no. It's not that way at all. Bent was waiting for me. He would have waited forever. He knew what it would do to me. Given the opportunity, he'd, he'd destroy both of our families. But I'll get him before he does. I swear I'll get him. Something woke me. I had a nightmare about Libby Prison. I rarely dream about the war anymore. What do you dream of? I dream of you. As you are now. Thank you. No. 
Madeline? Madeline? This telegram just came. It... Elkana Bent in St. Louis has kidnapped August Maine, son to Charles. Whereabouts of Charles Maine, unknown. Investigation proceeds. I've got to go find him. No, George. What the Pinkerton? That, that's what they... No, 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 Charlie broke me out of Libby prison. I owe him my life. Oh. I've got to go. How is it that men never learn? You're not going off to find a little boy. You're going off to find that filthy animal and have your vengeance. George, what if you don't come back? No, no, if anything should ever happen to me, you'll be well taken care of. The mine, the mill... Oh, for me, God's sake, don't you understand? I love you so much. Nothing could ever keep me from coming back. Please, don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must. Expensive houses in Chicago. Oh, really? That's what they tell me. Well, you said that. Well, someone who's had to pay. Say anything? Uh, I have nothing to do anymore. Excuse me, may I have the pleasure? Why, yes, thank you. Very nice. Why, thank you so much. So do you. The rubies are wondrous. This cottage was so beautiful. It's a great mausoleum. But I'm sure Harry would feel quite comfortable in it. Oh, I know his name. I know the names of all your indiscretions. Unfortunately, I probably always will. And now it will be Forrest Wilkerson. Unless my eyes deceive me tonight. Wilkerson III is very rich. <laughs> And handsome and charming. Fan, you're the one that I love. I wish you did. I mean, not that it really matters. It's just... Sometimes I wonder what I could have done differently. What more I could have given you. What you might have given me? That! Mount Royal, the most beautiful and perfect place on earth that should have belonged to me. How many times do I have to tell you that is what I want? Oh, and I will get it. Our agents combed St. Louis. Not a trace of him, nor the boy. Where's Charlie now? I haven't heard a word for a while. He gave up his position as scout at Fort Hayes after Cottonwood Creek. No one's seen him since. We'll see what you can find out, will you? Yes, sir. Your wife is feeling much better. Blames herself for Gus, but... Uh, Willa Parker. George Hazard. Pleasure, ma'am. Mr. Smith from the Pinkerton Agency. Willa and Charlie. Well, well... It's a pleasure to meet you, General. I've heard a lot about you. Charlie and I once had felt something for each other. Gus is still very special to me. <laughs> 